Good morning. Yes, it is travel day. Today we are leaving the Oxford, Ohio area. We are headed up to the Racine, Kenosha area for our destination. I preheated the car. It's 29 degrees this morning here in Ohio, 250 miles at 90%. Uh, I preheated the car using the scheduler, which gave me the ability to uh, set that when I went to bed. Car was charged, it's ready to roll. So we're getting out of here now. Let's hit the road. We are out on the road. Just left my buddy's house, Joe's house. We're headed up to uh, get a Scottish breakfast on the way up through Indianapolis and points north to Indiana and then on through Chicago and on to uh, Wisconsin. It's cold, it's 29. Apologize for the filthy windows, but it's too cold to wash the windows at this temperature. So it was defrosted by the car. I set it to schedule warming up the car. It's nice and pleasant in the car, but I can't really wash the windows yet. I'll uh, give it a little bit here. Can't miss my Scottish breakfast this morning. Just driving out of town through uh, Oxford now. We're just up on Highway 27 now. First charge stop is in 24 miles. Navigation decided to charge us up here, and we don't have to stop in Indianapolis. We go right on through to Lafayette, Indiana. That's okay. We've got 236 miles of range, and by the time I get there, it'll be like 215 or something. On interstate, well, I guess we're on Highway 27 still. In one mile, turn right onto Nine Mile Road. In Indiana now. This is West College Corner. It's so cold here, the what's left of the crops from last year has a layer of frost on it. Kind of looks like snow, but it's not. 28 degrees outside Fahrenheit. Here's the route navigation's taken us uh, up to the supercharger here. And it looks like this. to Boston. This is Boston, Indiana. We're in Baston, Indiana. Now don't blink. We're on autopilot at 30. Going through town here. Cool. Good old uh, church here. Yeah, this is downtown. Looks like we got a stop sign here. Looks like a brick building. It's kind of cool. Bank. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, cute little town. Get out of the way, birds. Come on, boys. Go. Go, go, go. Yep, this is 
Boston, Indiana. Places like this is where the gangsters would come and rob the banks. Dillinger, Pretty Boy Floyd, and those kinds of guys. Kind of cool. Oh look, a brick building here. What is this? School, business, no date, I can't read it anyway. Another brick building. Yeah, there you go, Boston, Indiana. Richmond, Indiana now, just on the outskirts. We're in downtown Richmond, Indiana here now. And we're going through uh, the old part here. As you can see, the uh, house has been here a long time. We're going up Highway 27. Looks like we need fannies over here. I'm not sure the history of Richmond, but it's been here a while. some of the downtown maybe we're coming into the tappers are at that yeah is up on top. oh that's interesting uh east west i guess we'll go this way yeah. leland it's a big factory building kind of interesting looks like it's been here a while i don't see any dates so I think it's probably just refurbished factory they used to have here, I'm guessing. All right, green light. Not to hit any of these barrels. It's kind of cool, a little skinny building. That's a nice picture of it. Yeah. Looks like James Bond or something on the side. This building's been here a while. The Reedmore building. I guess that's what it is. Some uh, big building up here. It's all it's not in any shape to be used. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's been here an awful long time. Look at an old barber shop. Looks like it might still be in business. Bank building. They got so much money, they need two places. They put a breezeway between them. Yeah, what we got here on the left, Indiana Football Hall of Fame. And some more stuff here. Kind of cool. There's a uh, real old church, looks here on the right. Other side of the uh, equipment. Can't quite see. And then over here on the left, I'm not sure what it is. Another gigantic building. Just about at the supercharger now, 0.8 miles. We've been preconditioning for probably the last 20. Since the battery was super cold this morning, it gets it up to temperature. So when we hook to the supercharger, it'll charge fast. Coming up on it now, getting close. Now wow. turn right. Yep. Major is uh, great about supporting Tesla, and there they are right in front of us here. They uh, put their... Uh, now your destination is on the left. They put their superchargers in the uh, parking lot, which is uh, really great. And I'm going to go left here, so i got to go around you. Thanks. And not a soul, but good thing is it's all version 3. So we get a quick charge here and uh, get on down the road. All right, version three, good work. The uh, cord is kind of small, so be even 27 degrees, it's uh, pretty flexible. And plug her in, just like that. Blink and blue. And green. All right, let's check it out here. All right, we're hooked up here. Now a really high state of charge, only got 80 kilowatts. Considering we are 66% here, it's not so bad. 
I'll go ahead and leave it charge and uh, I don't think anybody's seen a Tesla here. Everybody's giving me the eyeball driving by. All right, we're done charging here in Richmond, Indiana. I've got 23% upon arrival in Lafayette. Got about a five mile an hour headwind, but it should be fine. Now we got to navigate through Indianapolis, which it's rush hour. And let's hope we can get through without a lot of traffic. We're on Interstate 70 now, westbound. We're going to be heading towards Indianapolis, Indiana. We just left Richmond, Indiana, where the supercharger was. Our next stop will be in Lafayette, Indiana, which is north on Highway 65 or Interstate 65. We've got to get through Indianapolis now. There's probably some congestion, but there you go. Interstate 70 along here is probably the worst road conditions uh, what we experience in the trip. I think the weather has a big hand in that, but truck traffic doesn't help it at all. the construction here on Interstate 70. Running autopilot, it doesn't mind at all. Lane shifts, autopilot shifts. Indianapolis here now. We're going just north of it here, getting off Highway 70 and on to Interstate uh, 65. We did a little recalculation. The NAV wanted me to stop in downtown Chicago. Don't really want to do that because it takes me on Highway 94. I want to take 294, which is a toll road, which is uh, less congested. So my plan is I'm going to set the destination to the supercharger at Fair Oaks, Illinois, or make that Fair Oaks, Indiana. And uh, once I get to Fair Oaks, uh, I've got to stop in Lafayette here for 10 minutes. And then uh, it's about right anyway, we use the restroom. And then uh, 10 minutes in Lafayette, and then uh, Fair Oaks uh, will charge up enough to bypass downtown Chicago. That's the plan anyway. Just about ready to get off here, 0.6 miles in Lafayette. Been here before. Boy, this is one noisy road. Holy mackerel. They groove this pavement because of the bad ice and snow and stuff. Just getting off here now. Exit 172. Yeah, the navigation does a good job in showing you exactly where to go you when you get off. To State Road 26 East. And she just keeps talking so you can't get lost. I think this may be another Meyer store, I don't know. Let's see. In 500 yep, feet, sure is. Turn right onto Meyer Drive. Yeah, Meyer's been really awesome about supporting Tesla and now putting turn their. Right onto Meyer Drive. Yes, I know you told me that already. God darn. All right. Yep, been here before. Now turn left. Yes, dear. Now your destination is on the left. No, it's not. It's on the right. It's pretty bad when somebody doesn't know their right from their left. This is a uh, 150. You can tell by the thickness of the charge cords, which is fine. 
All right, we're hooked up here. It's a 150 kilowatt supercharger and 147 kilowatts. Pretty good. We're going to go ahead and uh, go in, use the facility, and we'll be back. So it's 10 minutes, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, this is Lafayette, Indiana supercharger. It's in the parking lot of a Meyer store. It's 150 kilowatts. Glad to have it. All right, we are charged 67%. That'll give us the arrival here at 39%. Uh, we charged a little extra because it was on the peak. So when we get to Fair Oaks, we'll have a little bit more juice and that way we don't have to wait as long. Let's go. These are the first wind generators I've seen so far on the trip. Indiana has them kind of central. I assume they're located where it blows a lot or it sucks a lot, not sure. There's sure a pile of wind generators located here. Oh wow, everywhere you look, they're everywhere. Not a lot of wind today, which is good for us, obviously. But there is a lot of wind turbines here. It's pretty cool. There's a sign you don't see every day. Road noise ahead. Huh. Well, there you go. All right, Fair Oaks Farms. That's where the supercharger is. Good work, guys. Post the supercharger. In 500 here. feet, turn left onto North 1200 West. All right, this is us here. Now turn left onto North 1200 West. Newton County, as in Isaac. Sorry, Sir Isaac. <laughs> All right, superchargers. Uh, In 500 feet, here, so your destination the... will be on the right. Well, it's not by the fueling station. They got a whole farm here. It's uh, I don't want to call it a tourist trap, but now your destination is on the right. All right. Well, there's the superchargers. I guess we turn in Dairy here. Adventure. The Fair Oaks Dairy Adventure. All right. I guess that's what you do when you got a gigantic farm. You got to get folks to come by and and uh, check it out. Look at that. Your adventure starts here. How about that? All right. Superchargers are located in the back here. Looks like we got a couple of customers. They're version three, so we don't have to worry too much about uh, who gets where. And uh, so I'll just. Put it on two delta here. Doesn't matter. They all get 250 kilowatts here. Lots of power. All right, we're here. All right, come on, baby. Yeah, I've got kind of a high state of charge, 41%. Generally, uh, you don't get the 250 at this stage, but we did precondition the battery quite a bit. Well, I'll take 160 kilowatts. Now i got to redo the navigation here. Located at Fair Oaks Farms here is a Fairfield Inn and Suites, which means when you're traveling, you come here to the supercharger, you get to spend the night if you wish. Well, how about this? You get on a bus, they take you around the farm, show you all the cool stuff. You gotta pay admission, but hey, who gets to go to a farm? Not many folks. Pretty cool. It's kind of a map of the farm. Kind of cool. If we had the time, it'd be fun. Yeah, well, here you go. Look at this. Boy, they're expecting a lot of people. They probably get a bunch of people here. 
Looks like it's aligned for something. I don't know what. Fair Oaks Farms is an active working farm. They milk cows, apparently, process the milk, make cheese, make milk products, all here on the farm. How cool is that? Bring the kids. Wow, look at this. Stringy. <laughs> You wouldn't expect any less place that makes cheese. This is a Reuben sandwich. All right, we are navigating here. Lee called, my buddy, you guys know Lee. Lee called, he has come from Chicago, and he suggested that we, instead of come along 94 here from 65 and around, he says, take the 90 interstate. It goes up over a really tall bridge and he says it's a really great view. So that's what we're going to do. There's some congestion here on 90, but it's okay. 90 will turn here to 94 and we'll pick up 294 and then head to Wisconsin. So it's uh, early enough in the day. It's noontime. It should be uh, good enough and it's Wednesday. So hopefully the traffic won't be bad. Anyway, let's hit the road. We have 99%. We uh, let it charge. We uh, had a really great lunch here at the Fair Oaks Supercharger Cow Fay, and it was really great. So let's go. Yeah, here's Interstate 90 now. We pass Interstate 80 and uh, the exit for 94. And uh, we're gonna start the loop here through uh, downtown Chicago. Still on Interstate 65, we're going to get off here at exit 262 to get on Interstate 90. It's quite crowded through Chicago. Get a map out and follow us here. Yeah, look at the off-ramp thing here. Now take exit 262 <laughs> on the right. Yeah, it's a little twisty-turny, but we'll figure it out here. I don't recall ever being on this road, but my buddy Lee used to live here in Chicago. He says it's pretty cool. So you guys get the benefit. All right, and around and around we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. In 1,000 feet, keep a right to take Interstate 90 West towards Chicago. So this ends up being a 360 degree turn. We did a 180. Now we do another 180. We want 90 west. Now he brought to take Interstate 90 west. Yep, that's what she said. This is a sharp one. No big deal for my car here, but if you're a truck, it might cause trouble. Express only. I guess that's us. We've got our license plate all done. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, all right. So now what? Wait till it turns red. No. Okay. Help. <laughs> all right, we're going to go for the cash alternative here. Since there's nobody here. Yeah, like my wife says. Warning, don't do reverse. <laughs> don't reverse. Well, I got no choice to, but to reverse. There's nobody here. We're gonna have to go in the cash lane. Get out some cash there, my dear. All right, cash, credit. Oh, actually, credit card would be fine. I don't know how much we need, but. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Follow this guy here. Here we go. Cash and credit. No, they don't man them anymore. I don't know. Give me the credit card. This is an Indian. insert card or pay cash. Insert card. Insert card. Remove card quickly. Processing. Please wait. Thank you. Huh. All right. Well, you probably heard that. The Autobot took our credit card. She 
I paid for the Illinois toll uh, to uh, do our license plate, but apparently the uh, license plate is not red here because we're still in Indiana. So that's okay. That was fun adventure. There wasn't anybody around, so we were able to back up. The other uh, lanes, apparently, you need a credit card to swipe it or some kind of a uh, thing to uh, uh, read, well, kind of like the uh, toll pass deal. Anyway, here we are. I think we're still in Indiana. Yep, we're in Gary, Indiana, according to the nav. I'm going to switch to wide view. All right. I think I'll get in the middle lane. There's a lot of big old trucks here that want to go faster than me. I guess it's 70 in here. This is Interstate 90 now, westbound. And uh, if we look at the nav here real quick, you can see we're going right up through Chicago, right along the coast here, through Chicago, and then uh, up into Wisconsin. So that's our pathway. Shrink it up here a little it's like there's some congestion up ahead, but at least uh, it'll be uh, an adventure here, I think. So we're crossing over Wolf Lake Memorial Park. You can see it on the nav here. It's uh, wetlands of some kind. Low area, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're proceeding north here. We're at the end of the Indiana toll road here, and uh, we've got to pay uh, for Indiana. Once we get into Illinois, I think our license plate reader I set up will work for us. All right, I think Lee was correct here. We're going on this, uh, looks like a big metal bridge up here. This is the Chicago Skyway on Interstate 90 never been to Chicago there's uh, lots of stuff here so once we get here I'll pan it around a little bit here looks like it's pretty well maintained looks like it has a brand new coat of paint it's made with rivets and uh, over there is some kind of a uh, it's all oh, it's a gated bridge the whole bridge uh, picks up in here, kind of. Very cool. And over here, it's not a lot of high stuff here in this part of the world. So I gotta tell you, it's 45 miles an hour, and I am not doing 45 miles an hour. I'm doing way over. And you pretty near get run over by trucks and all kinds of junk. There's downtown Chicago over there. Station. Why would I pay? I'm confused. Please pay. Now what? You want to back up? Do you not have a credit card? Oh, Jesus. Alright, I'm going to back up. This seems to be today's uh, thing here. The guy seems to uh, want to back up, maybe. Oh. Is he oh, going forward now? Yeah, he just finally put a card in. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, mackerel. I guess it can't be any more confusing. It should read my license plate. Here, there, up here. Chicago, you don't have it going on here. This is screwed up. I paid for the license plate thing, and uh, apparently there's no license plate scanners on this entrance. So go figure. Oh well. I think we're uh, in. As long as you got a credit card, you're good. No cash, apparently. We're in Illinois, finally, here. Interstate 90. 
if you're wondering, yeah, I'm using uh, one pedal driving. I don't need to use the the brake at all. Um, I just come off the accelerator and I slow down downtown again. It's uh, in fact it's hard to see here, but it's uh, to our right and uh, around in the front here. Yeah, who says BMW doesn't have uh, autonomous cars? Look, there's nobody driving that thing. All I can see is the headrest in there. How about that? I think BMW is sandbagging here, but look at that. Must be autonomous. There's nobody driving the darn thing. good money for this road and it's a crappy road. Uh, we're going uh, faster than the express lane over here. So to get in the express lane, I'm not sure that buys you anything. We're all going the same way. Yeah, look at all the side roads here going through Chicago. A lot and lots of uh, houses and things around. And what do we see? A white Model Y. This is the uh, first time we get to use the license plate reader here. You go online with the Illinois State uh, toll people and you give them your license plate. And then they're supposed to send me a text, so let's see if that works. We made it to Wisconsin. We're a couple miles in. Gonna be stopping supercharger. Get off here in 1.3 miles. In one mile. Take exit 347 on the right onto Wisconsin 165 toward County Highway Q, Lakeview Parkway. What she said. We made it to Pleasant Prairie. Superchargers just down this road here. Now yeah, turn left. Right and there it is. Looks like a V2 version 250 Now your destination kilowatt. is on the left. So Model Y's got Michelin tires. They're Pilot oh, ALO something, Aloha. A lot of rubber. Holy mackerel, look at that. Let's see if I can read that. Can't read it on my screen, but it says Pilot something. And there's certainly a lot of rubber on there, and uh, looks like 18 inch uh, wheels. That's cool. I imagine with all the potholes and nasty roads up here in Wisconsin, it comes in handy. All right, 92% here on the battery, we're charged up. The object is now to drive over to the relative's place, hang out for a couple days and not have to charge the car on any of their electrical systems. This way I get free supercharging with my referral credits and this way it works out well. We are ready to get out of here. Let's move it. We've made it to town. I'm just around the corner from my destination. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed some of the scenery on the way up through Chicago and Indiana. It's kind of cool. I'll be uh, here for uh, a couple nights, I think, uh, maybe three. And then uh, I'll be headed west uh, bound uh, either Friday or Saturday. So I'll see you then. Uh, that would be uh, Friday evening or Saturday evening. I'll post that day's video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll look for you in the next one and take care.